Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukhaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that is preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. Peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So I just want to touch on this lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying, uplifting, and um, informative unto the elect. All right. Um, basically going on the topic of um, how uh, sicknesses or infirmities is, um, you know, actually an, an evil spirit. All right. And, and that's why it's important to um understand that when you know when you do get sick you know when you do have a you know a physical ailment or an infirmity that the number one thing that we have to uh you know you have to do is pray to yahweh bashim yahweh shai for deliverance all right from that um from that uh you know that vexation of that spirit okay and um you know i was just uh reading the scripture right here and i'll just get right into it lord willing like i said it'd be edifying to the elect this is luke chapter 13 verse 10 it says and had, and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the sabbath and behold there was a woman which had in spirit which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself uh, lift up herself so this woman she basically you know um you know she had a a, a back issue Okay, whether it, whether it be you know the spine, the vertebrae, or uh, you know her hip, whatever it, it was, it wasn't, um, it didn't, uh, you know, her body wasn't able to you know stand up straight. All right, but you see how it is written that this woman had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. Now, when you go into um, you know the uh, different translation, the NLT, he says he and he saw he saw a woman. Who had been crippled by an evil spirit and she had been bent doubled for 18 years and was unable to stand up straight all right also and another um um in another translation in et it says a and a woman who was there had been disabled by a spirit for 18 years she was bent over and could not straighten herself up completely so these are, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a demon, okay, a demon, basic, basically was tormenting her body, all right, which wasn't uh, allowing her to be able to stand up straight. So you just kind of just imagine um, a person having to walk, you know, bent over, hunched over for 18 years, right? And what, and what is a demon? A demon basically is an evil spirit, and then you break that down, an evil meaning bad times. So it's a spirit that brings uh, bad times, evil times unto, you know, uh, 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 an individual through afflictions, through affirmities, through sickness, diseases, uh, you know, mental, whether it be mental, uh, whether it be physical, so, uh, so on and et cetera. OK, so this woman, she was uh, basically being plagued or disabled by an evil spirit. Um, in verse 12, it says, and when Yahweh Shai saw her, he called her to him. And he said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified the Most High. All right, and why was that? Because ultimately, uh, Yahweh Shai, being the Son of God, all right, uh, uh, he delivered her from this um, evil spirit that was uh, disabling her. All right, that's why it says, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity okay now you know something else i found interesting when you read the scriptures a lot of times when yahweh shai would um you know heal somebody he would say something um you know to them let's get that here in the book of john i'm gonna start at the um just let this load i'm gonna start at the top right so it says john 5 and 1 it says and this there was a feast uh, of the Jews and Yahweh Shai went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Beth uh, Beth Bethsaida, all right, or Beth Bethsaida, having five porches, and these laying a great multitude of impotent folk, 
of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever dis-ease he had. All right. So, hey, man, <laughs> you know, you just imagine that uh, at a certain season, a certain time, you will have an angel come and, and, you know, basically touch the water. And whoever would first the first person to get into the pool or the water would be healed. So you had a lot, a large multitude of, uh, you know, Israelites that were, you know, plagued or diseased or sick or had different type of infirmities that would try to be the first person to get into that water so that they can be healed from, you know, whichever you know, whatever disease they had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. So you had this man that had this infirmity. We just read in Luke the 13th chapter that uh, an infirmity basically is a, a, a is a spirit okay an evil spirit that plagues your body all right and we see that you know all throughout you know life even to this day you have people who are crippled all right people who have you know different type of you know that are lame maimed they might be blind might be deaf dumb all right uh, mentally you know uh, uh mental issues which you have a lot of uh you know that's the talk you know in this in this generation a lot of people with mental health issues which those are just what those are those are happening because there are there have been multiplied uh evil spirits on the earth because of the wickedness because of the iniquity that people are indulged in all right so it says when yahweh saw him lie and knew that he had been a long he had been now a long time in that case he saith unto him will thou be made whole the impotent man said sir it said unto said salaki the impotent man answered him sir i have no man when the water is troubled to put me in into the pool but while i am coming another steppeth down before me so this man basically his infirmity his his impotent his impot uh impotentness made him unable to be the first person to get into the pool so yahweh shai seeing him he said what Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Rise, take thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed and walked, and on the same, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Alright, so Yahweh Shai once again healed this man of this uh, uh disease or of this ailment, because ultimately it was a spirit that was uh conf uh you know constraining this individual. You know, to the point where he was, uh, um, his body didn't function properly. Okay, so I'm gonna jump now, right? Because that just speaks about the, 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 you know, the Jews when they saw him and etc. They asked him who did this. So I'm gonna go right now to 14. It says, Afterward, Yahweh Shai findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more least a worse thing come upon thee all right so yahweh shai told this man to not to sin anymore for fear least right that's what least mean for to, to fear of or for fear of a worse thing come upon thee and what does that tell you that tells you that people who have these type of ailments who have these type of diseases these type of infirmities those things happen all right because they have sinned whether it be in this life or whether it had been in their past life all right and as we know that the wages of sin is death okay and that's why you have a lot of people who although they have these infirmities although they have the, the sickness what ends up happening because they don't repent right because they don't stop their wickedness their mind isn't you know changed from their their evil ways they ultimately end up dying all right that's why a lot of people that get hit with cancer all right a lot of people you know that get hit with you know certain you know uh, types of uh, um uh terminal illnesses they don't they don't seek yahweh by shimmy shai they might go to uh allah they might go to you know whatever physician physician thinking that these these uh doctors are these physicians of no value 
have the capability of curing them when in ultimately the real cure comes from the Lord. All right. The real the real way to be uh, healed. All right. Of these spirits of infirmities comes from the, the, the one who is the father of spirits. Right. Let's get that. Um, did I pull that up? I might not have. Uh, Salaki. All right. Well, there's a scripture that basically uh, speaks about uh, the Lord being the father. Actually, right here. Okay. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse um, verse. Uh, nine. It says, furthermore, we have had fathers of the flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? You see that? So when you are put underneath the the, the, uh, the subjection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what comes from that life? All right. Even when you read in the Torah, all right, when, when uh, Moses gave um the, the the orders the commandments the statues unto the children of israel um he said what choose choose life and live all right and choosing life is what following the ways of yahweh bashim yahweh Shai. all right there's another precept to back that up um let's see this is from the book of Uh, the book of uh, Numbers, chapter 16, verse 22, it says, And they fell upon their faces and said, O power, the power of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and will thou be wroth with all the congregation? All right, num Numbers 27 and 16. Let the Lord Yahweh, the power of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. All right, so basically backing up the point that the, that the heavenly father yahweh all right uh is the god of all flesh and he gave his son uh all power and authority you know uh, on heaven and in earth you see so that's why you know these uh these demons as the um actually i don't have this this one up but these demons they are under under subjection underneath yahweh bashim yahweh shot all right, that's why when the uh, disciples, let me see if this is, might be Luke 16, might be a uh, Salaki, Luke 10 and 16. Let's see. Luke 10. Luke 10, verse uh, 17. It says, and the 70 have returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject subject unto us through thy name. You see that? So the devils are subject unto us through the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me uh, jump down to verse 20. It says, Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So through the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we have power uh, over over unclean spirits. To the point where, hey, when 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 we are sick, right? Actually, let me pull that up. When we are sick, when we have you know ailments, understanding that 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 ultimately is a evil spirit that is plaguing us. That is plaguing your, your your loved ones, or I mean, plaguing your brother, or plaguing your own body. So the first and foremost thing that you should do is is what is uh, uh, rebuke the spirit in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, of course, there are different you know herbs, different medicines that come from the earth that can uh, sustain your, your 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 body, that can help your body, but unless that spirit is um comes off of you know comes off of you or whoever that you are you know uh, uh praying you know whoever it is on unless the lord you know uh, um commands that spirit to come come off of you then you, it's not going to come off all right it's not going to come off this is james 5 verse 13 is any among you afflicted let him pray 
All right. So if you are afflicted with an infirmity, we go and you go into the word infirmity. It basically just means, you know, a disease. OK, a, a sickness. Right. So when you have a sickness, you your body is afflicted. So if there's any among you afflicted, let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Uh, Psalms is any sick among you. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. The and the prayer of the faith. So like in the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Why? Because once again, the, the reason why people are afflicted in the flesh, the reason why people are are um, hit with ailments, ailment, uh, you know, uh, infirmities or ailments is because of their sin. And that's why you have um, you have a dietary law. All right. Because eating unclean foods brings forth what unclean spirits. Let's get this in the book of Matthew, the 10th chapter. Matthew 10, verse 1, it says, And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. You see? So unclean spirits bring forth unclean, uh, uh, bring forth sicknesses and, uh, and diseases. OK, and that's why you have a lot of people of our people who eat certain unclean foods. They have what various different types of uh, uh, sicknesses in their bodies, whether it be gout, high blood pressure, uh, uh, heart disease, obesity, et cetera, and et cetera, is because they're at they're, they're committing iniquity by eating those unclean foods. And therefore, those unclean spirits are now opened to uh, uh, possess them to attack them all right not and in, in that, in that's not the only way that unclean spirits you know or uh, demons possess you know come upon you uh evil spirits come upon you it, it could be by committing adultery idolatry fornication uh um you know um all any any sin all right any sin causes what is is uncleanliness is unrighteousness so you, you basically make yourself a vessel opened up to all of these unclean spirits. And when these unclean spirits come upon you, what ends up happening? Infirmities happen. But the Lord, Yahweh Shai, gave uh, uh, his disciples power against these unclean spirits. All right. He gave us power against these things. So that if these things do come upon us. Because, hey, scripture tells you that, you know, we all fall short. And another thing, right, um, in a case of Paul, you may have a, uh, a unclean spirit, all right, uh, uh, buffet you to keep you in a humbled mind state. Because what happens when people are sick? What happens when people like that woman that we read that was bent over 18 for 18 years or the man that was impo uh, impotent for 38 years? Guess what? Guess what that type of infirmity or disableness? Um, guess what type of mindset that puts them in that that brings them to humility? See, there is no there is no place for being proud or, or having pride when you are uh, or when your body is all effed up. All right. <laughs> I'll say that it shouldn't be no place. But in, in this in this world that we live in, because because, you know, they walk in great pride. You do even got people who are blind. You got people who are deaf. You got people who have skin, skin diseases, people who are are handicapped that are still prideful. But really, those different types of um, uh, uh, of, uh, of of disablednesses are there to to make you humble all right are there to 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 take away the humility i mean take away the pride that you have had maybe in this life or even in the in the in your previous lives all right so in this case paul speaks about a thorn in his flesh second corinthians 12 verse 7 it says and least i shall be exalted above measure 
through the abundance of revelations, there was given me a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Okay, so Paul getting all of these revelations, these, uh, these these mysteries of the kingdom, he also was given a a uh, an affirmity. All right, let's read it. It says, even though I have received such wonderful revelations from the Most High, so to keep me from becoming proud. I was giving was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me and keep me from becoming proud. You see that? So even you know, amongst brothers that are in the truth, there are times there may be brothers that have certain different uh, um, ailments, certain different bodily, you know, disablenesses that the Lord gives them so that although he, he gives them, you know, great understanding of, of prophecies, although he may give them visions and dreams all the time. All right. He gave them the, the spirit of, of wisdom, the spirit of understanding. All right. Spirit of discernment. All these things. The, the, the heavenly father, Bashim Yahweh Shai, will also allow uh, um, a certain infirmity to come upon you so that you can stay in that humble mindset. So that you can always remember, like, although I got these, you know, although I got this, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, I also got this phys this physical ailment that I'm dealing with. So I can't be prideful. I can't be prideful. All right. I can't be, you know, uh, uh, um, big headed, high minded. All right. And that was the case that happened with um, Paul. So in that and, when, and see what he called. It, he said a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan. To torment me and to keep me from becoming proud. In the, in the, in the, the, the NET, it says, even because of the extraordinary characters of, of the revelations, therefore, so I was so that I would not become arrogant. Because it, it tells you, Paul, it tells you that what? Knowledge puffeth, puffeth up. All right? Knowledge puffeth up. So imagine you uh, a person, Paul, having all of these, you know, revelations and all of these different breakdowns and understandings of the scriptures and he was just in perfect complete health he may have become arrogant all right but the lord does that to keep you to keep the to, to give that balance and and that is in a sense not to destroy you all right because if you're doing the will of your Bashim Yahweh Shai, he doesn't do that to destroy you but to keep you humble all right hey and that's really when you look at it you know it may it may seem you know uh, uh um it may seem tormentous, and if that's a word, you know, uh, in the moment, but really the Lord is doing that so that a greater worse thing doesn't come upon you. Because if you become proud or arrogant, the scripture tells you that the Lord hates pride. So imagine the Lord, uh, um, imagine you becoming prideful because of the, 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 the knowledge that you have, that the Lord gave you. Remember, that's a gift. All right. Or sometimes... Let's say you become of a of a man uh, of a, of a of a high rank, all right, or or that's highly regarded, you know, because of the knowledge and wisdom, understanding that you have. Hey, the Lord may may bring you to that position, but He also will give you a thorn on your side, give you an infirmity to give to to keep you in in a in a humble mind state. So it says, um, reading on, it says, I would not become arrogant, uh, arrogant. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to trouble me so that I would not become arrogant. Because a a, a, um, a prudent man or a wise man would, would keep that in his mind. Like, you know, damn, I have all I have this revelations. I have this understanding, but I'm still fucked up. You know, I got I got a bad back. You know, I got a you know, I got a. a, a a, a limp okay i got a you know certain skin skin diseases all right and, and, and the skin disease could be eczema you know it could be you know you get heat rashes just whatever it is all right you know me <laughs> i say this all the time me personally you know nobody in my family on my dad's side you know has a uh you know it has a bald you know it's, it's going bald but here it is, you know, since I've been like 24, 25 years old, I've been having, a, you know, a, a ball spot in my head, in my head. And I'm like, yo, where did this come from? Because it's not so-called genetic. But then, hey, that's to me, I always remember, hey, this could be a way that the Lord keeps me humble. All right. 
that's the way that the Lord keeps me humble. And that's, you know, on the, on the right hand side, the Lord doing that. But you got these uh, evil spirits that torment and afflict the, the wicked, all right, of our people on the left hand side. And, and it's ultimately because they are doing evil things. They are doing unclean things. All right. Hey, the scripture tells you that um, the Lord created all things for himself. Yeah. Even the uh, the wicked for the day of evil. So let's get another scripture. This is the book of um, Luke, uh, not Luke. Let it load up real quick. The book of um, Matthew, chapter nine, verse. Where is it? Matthew chapter 9 verse uh, 1 it says and when he entered into the ship and passed over and came into his own city and behold they brought to him a, a man sick with the palsy lying on a bed and Yahweh seeing their faith and said unto the sick of the palsy son be of good cheer thy sins be forgiven see once again he said thy sins be forgiven so a sick, people who are sick you know that are that are sick with uh, um, doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what type of sickness you. You could get the common cold, or it could be a, a long, a long uh, duration of sickness. Something that is that that make that put you have you bedridden. It all those things happen ultimately because of what reason? Because of sin. That's why the Lord said to him, "Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven." So if your sins are forgiven, then you then you can become healed. Because it's all goes back to uh, the spirit. All right. It's all spirits. Okay. Now, let me uh, see if it was in this. Um... Where was it? Right. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 9, verse 32. It says, and as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. So this man, basically, he couldn't talk. All right. And why couldn't he talk? Was it because of the, the neurological, uh, 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 you know, parts of his brain wasn't, you know, connecting to his mouth. And then he wasn't able to articulate what he wanted to do. See, that's what Esau would tell you. Esau would try to find a carnal reason for things. Okay. But ultimately, he was he was dumb. Why? Because he was possessed with a devil. There's plenty of different evil, bad time spirits out here that have different uh, um, functions. Okay. The scriptures also speaks about the um, the son, the man that was a lunatic, right? The 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 the, the, the son of the man that um, he was a lunatic, and he said he was possessed with the devil. It says verse 33, and when the devil was cast out. The dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. So as soon as the devil was cast out of that man, what was what he was his body was able to function normally. Alright? As soon as that evil spirit was cast out, his body was made whole. You see? So there's um another another example of that in the book of it's that Luke, the eighth chapter, Luke chapter eight, verse. I'm start at one also here is speaking about Mary Mag Mag Magdalene. It says, and when he came to pass, actually, let me just go straight to the point. It says, and there was a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils so when those seven devils came out of her her infirmities were healed she was healed from evil bad time spirits because you have demons bring you what bad times <laughs> okay and that's why in these these times that we're in it tells us in the book of ecclesiasticus that there are spirits created for vengeance laying on sore strokes and why is that Okay, because we're in the time of the Lord's wrath, in the time of the visitation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai upon the earth. All right, all of these people that have been indulged in wickedness and been indulged in, in the pleasures of sin, now they're about to 
and, and it's already happening judgment we're seeing judgment going out every day and and those judgments goes out through the spirits that the lord sen sends out all right because demons are just angels on the left hand side they're, they're they're angels that bring bad times just like how you had i believe that was the the the, the um angel gabriel that brought good or glad tidings unto uh mary you got angels that bring you good tidings <laughs> And you got angels that go to go to, uh, that bring bad tidings, okay? And the ones who are getting the bad tidings, the bad news, the bad the, the bad judgments, are the ones who were indulged in sin. All right, are the individuals who have pleasure in wickedness. So, let me jump now. This is. Um, Right, um, Luke chapter 35, Salakia, Luke chapter 8, um, verse 